For new Python developers, the zip function is a really interesting function to learn right from the beginning. And its job is to basically take together multiple sequences and stitch them together in a pairwise manner. So say for example, if we had these two lists here, zipping these together would basically put John Smith, Alex Harris, and then Matthew Jones together. It doesn't just have to be two sequences, you can do it with as many as you'd like. It's also important to note that it's going to take the shortest sequence and then finish there. And there's a few ways you can apply the zip function. An interesting way is to do it inside the context of a for loop. So because we're going over two lists, I want to say A, B, in, we could then call our zip function and then pass in my F names and L names. So what's going to happen now is that all the A's, they're going to be equal to my John Alex Matthews. All the B's, these are going to be equal to the names in this list here. So hitting run, we can see it pairs together all the names in my list, which looks good. Let's go ahead and make an F string out of this. So in this example, we've zipped together my first names and my last names. And then my print statement is simply constructing a nice simple F string using the zipped together names. Another interesting use case is to pass the zip function into the list function. This thing gives you a list of tuples basically containing each pair of names. And hitting run, we can see our list has appeared in the terminal here. And we can see my first tuple contains John Smith, that being the first pair of names. Second one being Alex Harris containing the second pair here. So those are just two ways of using zip. It's a function I definitely recommend learning, especially if you're new to Python.